Ba, ba, it's about drive. It's about power. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have to re-explain what we have to re-explain what's going on. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hi guys. There's so many hi. things to explain. This is it's our. So this say. is our second attempt at recording today, uh, mm -hmm. because we're having technical issues because we're on a different setup because I'm out of town. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, additionally, I am Sophia, aka a lovely Brett. Uh, I'm and Dango because she's trying to indoctrinate us doing intros. I we have to do intros, dude. Like, come I on. No, but it's so much easier not to. <laughs> I'm trying to get it where people who are new know who we are. I am an artist he's also an artist right we draw webtoons we, we draw comics very good all right we've done it see we've done, we've done it done, we've oh done my our god issue. i didn't think i was gonna live through that yeah i know real hard so difficult um today's episode we're gonna be doing some something really relevant we're going to be talking about Arcane again. Yeah. But our first recording attempt, I talked about how great it is. But then afterward, we decided we're going to pivot how we're going to talk about Arcane today, which, by the way, there will probably have some spoilers coming up. So if you want to watch Arcane and don't want anything spoiled for you, go Fred watch lately. it on Netflix. Yes. Fred yeah, lately. go watch watch it it's so good it deserves the watch anyways yes i don't even want to hear yeah i don't want to hear if you haven't played league of legends i haven't i probably will never and i still love the show yes it is you don't have to know what any of thing is it the show stands on its own it's excellent but uh that now that we're talking about the show uh if you've seen <laughs> the show you know who Jace is, and uh, do you want to give some context to who Jace is, Bango? Um, well, why are you throwing it to me? <laughs> because I barely remember. I'll be with peace okay. and love. He's like one well, of my Jace, least favorite characters. He's mine too. <laughs> Jace is the like he's one of the characters you follow, like one of the storylines you follow in the beginning. He's he wants to merge science with m with magic like have people who aren't born magic users be able to use magic yes. and he goes down a bit of a more political path than his counterpart uh victor and that's like the whole storyline of those two is that jace follows more in like politics and war and all of those things when it comes to the use of hex tech which is what it's called like that, like that's what their uh, magic shit is called. Yes. <laughs> they call it hex tech, and then he follows more of the path of using it for like weapons. Like he starts going down that kind of path, and Victor's more for the people and quick change. Yeah, because Victor is very sick. And yeah, he's dying. Victor is dying. Victor is a skeleton walking around ninety percent of the show. <laughs> right, he's <laughs> struggling ninety percent of the show. <laughs> Victor is walking 50% of the time. Yes. So that was a better description than I could have given, for sure. Uh, and Jace, but, I might also add, is one of the straightest characters you'll ever see. Yeah. Which. But, like, straight and unlikable. Because, like, Vander is straight and likable. Right. I think. So, let's talk about the blooming hatred for Jace as a character. Uh, I first noticed the fandom deciding they hate Jace when mm -hmm. I saw a TikTok, which I don't have to present. I am sorry. But it was a TikTok that was basically like, I hate this guy. My first TikTok about Jace hate was the one that was like, Characters that are virtually more attractive and like that one was also <laughs> extremely more attractive than Jace will ever be. And yes. being like, this is our villain, Jace. 
We <laughs> we don't like I, him. I have also seen that one. That was like the second one that I was exposed to when I started realizing <laughs> so people funny. hate Jace. Like, there's yeah, there's two camps of people who are like Jace is literally the scum of the earth. He is what I pick off my the bottom of my shoe when I get shit on the bottom of my shoe, and it's just Jace's face. But then there's people that are like, I will only see him in a setting where he is so gay for Victor that it is insane. Like, they only want to see him smooching Victor or dying in a hole. <laughs> yeah, only... <Yeah. laughs> people either really, really think that he should have a very gay relationship with Victor because they're close, or he should be dead, and yeah. they hate him because he's <laughs> awful. I am like, in the no no in between as well. No, no in between. I am in the camp where I don't really care for Jace. I think he's dumb. Uh, I think he's easily manipulated, and I think he got blinded by his own goals. But uh, that can that can be applied to like every character in the show. I just think that he, there's something about him that's like kind of cookie cutter like i've seen There's something his about that box face that makes me oh, just want to punch somebody right okay so me and me and you have talked about how he has a punchable face yeah yeah he's got um, a punchable face i i think one of my friends actually was the first one to say that to me where they were like jace has a punchable face and i was like he does he does have he, a punchable face dude he everything just has like punch energy like i want to punch him everything is stacked against him his design makes him look punchable his he's character too hetero he's too hetero for the fan base to care about him and and then he's going up against the fan favorite over here victor right because their idea of how science should be moving forward is different uh, and they're both wrong, let's face it, but... Yeah. Uh, do you want to bring up some of the images we've collected? So me and Bengo have decided we will collect a few of our... A few of the images we found on... Where did a we little, find it? On the Twitter.com. Yes, a little, a little bit of Twitter content, which when you look up Jace on Twitter, it's... It is exactly how we've described. It's either great or... It's, it's like either gay like, or hate. People are like, yeah, I love him and Victor. Or, I hate him. I hate him so much. <laughs> or it's like, Victor is so cute. Fuck you, Jace. Go <laughs> die in a hole. <laughs> like, it's like in the same sentence as people being like, I love Victor. Jace, you need to go fucking die in a fire. And so think about what you've done. So here's the first image. This is the image one. Uh, <laughs> yes, I think you know which image I'm talking about. Yeah, it's yeah, we're Jace, on the same path. Jace with his shirt off. Or. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, who? Are... <laughs> this one's okay. If we're reviewing the meme. This one's fine. <laughs> this one's fine. I have a... It's a good starter, but I have my favorites, okay? <laughs> Jace I is a hero. Yeah, true. I mean, they're not wrong. This is another no. one. Friendship with Jace... <laughs> a fr and friendship ended with Jace. Now, Singed is my best friend. Um, It <laughs> speaks for itself, I think. Yeah. Yeah. If you haven't watched the show, this is all very confusing. But <laughs> if, if you, you haven't watched the show, why are you still here? But if you how have are you watched... still listening? If you have watched the show, then you know this is accurate. Yeah, this is accurate. This is this actually is how the show. This is just yeah. how the show happens, actually. Yeah. Okay. Next up, we've got. Okay. <laughs> We're pulling it up. I'm already there. I mean, yes. I'm following with the audience, though. So. Mm. Oh, yeah, because we can't... I can't see what 
the audience sees right now because of the setup. We're yeah, because of our in, new setup. Well, I'm like, in my own world. The best scientists that not you, the world deserved <laughs> most. I <laughs> I don't know if I agree <laughs> with this one is the problem. I think people are blinded by how punchable his face is. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, not you. I, Fuck I get, you and any advancement you've ever made for science. I get why people hate him. It's because he's like... Yeah, but this I, this I feel like doesn't take the narrative into account that Victor is also <laughs> deeply wrong in how he goes about science. He has his own flaws, yeah. But I think a lot of people relate to him more because right, of the I think that's ideology that he sets in place. Yes, because he's, he's fighting the for the underdog. Yeah, yeah, he's the underdog, and everyone's gonna side with the underdog. He's the underdog fighting for the underdogs. He, Victor is just, he's also sweeter in general. You just like him more. Jace has got yeah. an attitude that is just not as likable just, or relatable, yeah. which, yeah. Obviously, people are going to want to side with the most He opens his people. mouth and everyone's like, shut up. <laughs> and again, his punchable face does not help. He has the jaw that just makes you want to sock him in the head. Anyway, next image. <laughs> this one. <laughs> <laughs> so the explanation, the explanation behind this image. Do you want to explain <laughs> this meme to people? <laughs> it's that... Everyone has basically headcanon that any female on the show is a lesbian. No further questions. <laughs> no further questions. <laughs> and, uh, then we're left then with... Then there's Jace. Then we're left with, of course, Jace. The mm -hmm. most straight character of the group. Yeah. He's... They He's... should have... Here's my criticism of that image. They didn't Photoshop his face in. True. What is wrong somebody, with these people? Somebody get on that. Somebody get yeah. on that. Oh, I'm sorry. We included their at. With peace and love. <laughs> with peace and love, you. NVK, I'm mad at you. You didn't. You didn't do that. Get on that shit. Get on that. <laughs> the next one. <laughs> All right, next one. <laughs> Oh my, this is too accurate. This is the problem with this, is it's too accurate. It's so good. This person had it on the money. I think that's the problem with his design, is he does look like kind of a cardboard cutout of every punchable face I've seen. Straight man. Straight dude. Yeah. I mean... He's fine. Uh, people, I still feel like the hatred is a little... It gets too much. It's a little too much. Uh, I think... I think he, uh... It, it's a lot. It's definitely a lot, but I'm not gonna stop them, because it's really funny. I mean, obviously, I'm getting a lot of entertainment out of all the chaos that Twitter brings to this <laughs> whole conversation. Yeah, I'm going to be like, he's not that bad of a character, but am I going to stop people who are literally telling him that he's ugly, he's stupid? No, I'm not. <laughs> Good. Keep going. Yeah, well, he I is. Haven't seen, he I is. haven't seen this one. What is going on in the next one? Let's see. <laughs> people hate <laughs> People really do hate him so much. That's just, what I mean. He speaks and they're like, shut up. I mean, I... You know what? They're right. This this moment made me mad. I understand. He... Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, that's how the voice actor <laughs> delivered the line exactly. <laughs> yeah. For, like, I was just quoting, I was just quoting the show. 
I was doing right. the impression of Pres- Jace. It was exact, actually. That was yeah. the exact impression. <laughs> Kai, everybody. <laughs> That's Kai in the background, <laughs> our editor. <laughs> Yeah, I just said he is Go to the next one before I lose my mind. What the, fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what, the, what the F is that? <laughs> this one, Bingo clearly collects. It's mine. What is this? Chase, I'm dying. Please stop beatboxing. <laughs> <laughs> this is so chaotic. Oh, it's, Bruh. It's so funny. This isn't <laughs> this is specifically slander. It's just funny. Okay. <sighs> Wait, I wanna <laughs> I wanna cut in. I'm not gonna include the screenshot, but mm. here's this is an anonymous Twitter user and this is what they they Ooh. said. Okay. I thought it was funny. Just the this is the energy that people are bringing, okay? Uh, quote I want mm. Victor and Jace to hate each other unquote so they're, they're quoting other people right mm-hmm. and this is what they have to say rip to you but I don't I want Jace to realize he's being manipulated by Murdarda is that how you say her name I forget I, I, and that I he's a bisexual mess I want him to apologize to Victor. <laughs> I want them to kiss and actually work on improving <laughs> Zod together. <laughs> That's not going to happen. I know. I love the... It's not even uh, like remotely even uh, hinted at. And I just love the desperation. Like the gay desperation. Well, I think, yeah. That, because That's we, my favorite part. Is like... The only way to redeem him as a character is to make him gay. Which is not a good character with peace and love. No. But like that's so, it's like so funny. Like it just exemplifies what I mean. He can't be anything but gay in the internet's <laughs> eyes. Like they're like, we can't accept him straight in any of these circumstances. I just love how they're like also, anyone who thinks they should hate each other, you're wrong because they need to be you're gay. Wrong. <laughs> they need to be gay. <laughs> I like all the ship art that's come out of it. Oh, jeez, we got some crunch. Oh, do we? Just a little. Oh no. But okay, no, no, no. It's, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. The it's show fine. must go on. Uh But yeah, like it's. That's just exemplifying another, just like the two divides. Like, he has to either be dead or <laughs> gay. <laughs> okay, show the next one. <laughs> what the? I haven't seen this one either. Some of these we've already looked at, but this one. <laughs> <laughs> this is the exact energy. Uh-huh. I wouldn't be able to do it without Victor. He helped me, not Mel. I'll marry him. <laughs> I'll marry him. That's what I mean. The only way Jace could survive in this in this economy is him either being <laughs> gay or dead. <laughs> um, I have bad news for all of these people who made these memes because I don't think he's going to be either of them. He's never going to be fruity. No, he's he doesn't even give fruity energy. He's he he doesn't. Victor definitely has moments where I'm like, yeah, but, yeah, oh yeah, he's got some fruit moments. Yes. Oh my god! <laughs> Did he just say fruit by the foot? <laughs> hey yo! Hey yo! All right, next we only image. have one more. One more, and then the other one, the last image is just the next topic. <laughs> I mean, 
Yes, that's the point, guys. That's the point. It's so funny. I love how people are like, yeah, the hex core, as if it isn't going to. Well, this was this was before uh, the the most recent three episodes came out. So this was when yeah. everyone was still having this wishful thinking because they had, I guess, not considered or knew about the lore of League. Like if you if you play League and you pay attention to the lore, you knew that Something's Victor coming down is, the pipe. Vi- yeah, Victor's doomed. Yeah. Um, which is why this it's, is this whole it's argument so funny. is so funny to me because all of these people just have no idea they're gonna be hurt. They had no idea. I mean, now they do with peace and love. But I still wonder... punchable in the background over here. Oh, so true. I don't disagree, but it is still so punchable. It is still very funny that everyone was going so hard. <laughs> so. so, with peace and love, mm. everyone who hates Jace, I get it. Everyone who ships Jason Victor, I, go I get off, it. A, I, guess. I go off, I guess. I mean, the ship art's good, but like, damn. I was going to say that they are putting so much energy into it. They're putting their fucking lives into the gay art over here. I also have a fun story about, like, However long we've been recording, I was I was going through Twitter to find memes of Jace mm-hmm. hate, and I stumbled across a very not safe for work image. <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone, Kai's like, I want to see. Hey, so I first of him. all, no, 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 no. First of all, before you continue this conversation, you didn't say a lick about what this image was like. You didn't say jack about the image. You just said, I found something and and expected me to just make the pieces without seeing the image. You're like, I found something. I don't want to send it. And then expecting my monkey brain not to be like, understandable. It must be something I shouldn't be seeing right now. I shall resist the urge to see said image and <laughs> make a decisive decision not to ask. That's how you expected me to play this out. You didn't say this. You didn't say that part. You did not say that first part. Uh... You just said, I found an image, proceeded to wheeze laugh at what you found. <laughs> uh, with peace and love? You still asked for it, and that's not my I fault. I did. I did. I said, I'm just saying. I'm just said, saying. You're setting it up you like I knew. Is. I told just... you. I said I can't even tell you what it is, and you went, yeah. "Just send it in the chat." That's <laughs> what I was. Yeah. And so what do I do? Because I didn't expect it to be that bad. What you do are I do? Building... <laughs> I send it in the chat, and you know what he goes? He immediately goes, "Delete it. Delete this. <laughs> Delete it." It's like in front of my face on my tablet screen. I'll describe it to the audience in the best way I can. It's Jace. I'm gonna look at the image mm. so I paint the picture. Are you it. sure you want to look at the image again? I don't. But <laughs> it's the Jace. shit we do. Um, he's mm. bent over, very much so. He's it's spread. It's a good thing we can't make money. <laughs> spread eagle. And um, he's using a machine on something. That's all I can say. <laughs> oh, uh, it's a very visible. Oh, crunchy crunch. That was me sniffing. The show right must there. go on. The show must go on. I apologize. It's quite the image. Delete this from my phone because it's horrific. <laughs> yeah, you should. I did. I did. That's really Dude, responsible. The not safe for work artists are moving fast. They're <laughs> zooming. They've got so much more speed than I could ever. They're just so am- quick. I remember the memes before Arcane came out where everyone was like waiting for anything to draw fan <laughs> art. They were waiting for anything. Anyone. I just like I, I it's the thought process for me of like seeing Jace on their screen and being like he needs That's to what be I pegged. 
<laughs> well, of course they did. Meanwhile, everyone else is like, I hate this guy. Yeah. Once I again, mean... back to my theory of just, like, he needs to be literally topped or, like, dead. Did, was this a theory you shared with our audience beforehand? Like Just the conversation going on of just more patterns of behavior of the people on the internet. Oh, you can okay. Gay like... or dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. With peace and love to everyone who cares about Jace. You're a lot. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. But also, <laughs> thanks for the entertainment. Yeah. Cause... But also, don't calm down. Keep going. I mean, I will be checking in on this this whole Twitter. Keep going, but we don't endorse you. I'm not <laughs> endorsing this behavior, but Keep I'm going though. It's like but a I will be wreck. watching from the sidelines. I'll be popcorn. watching, always watching. I, I'm gonna feel bad for anyone who cosplays as Jace. Hey, but guess what? Because everyone's but... gonna be like, "Nice cosplay, but why him?" The Vi Kate people won, I think. They have. I mean, even Jinx was like, "Your girlfriend, your, yeah. your stupid girlfriend," and then tried to hold her hostage. So yeah, and there is a second season. So I can't wait for the second. Season. So, oh my god! I know. Second I season. Just, we, need a, we need a watch party for the second season. I know. I feel like yeah, we do. We, we should do. all watch it together. Ugh, I want to watch it already. Why can't it be out already? Right. I loved seeing. I love seeing like, because I finished. I finished it through the day. Like I, I found. Out, I watched it the day it came out. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I finished it, I was like, God damn, my heart. I was like, they you can't just leave me like this. And then like, not even an hour later, I look at Twitter and they're like, Don't worry, the second season's coming out. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry. Relax. Relax. Calm down. Stop DMing us. Yeah. In it, it, it probably. I mean, I'm sure people were losing. Like they their minds. finished yeah, they finished their live watch party, like the whole like live that they were doing of the finale, and then we're like, second season's coming out. Don't kill us. <laughs> yeah, literally. It was like everyone was had their guns pointed at them and they were like, Okay. Where we'll is tell it? You. Where's the second season? Yeah, like we're, we'll tell you. It's coming. Don't worry. Chill out. Yeah, guns held at their fucking faces. Everyone okay. being like, Where's the second season? We're renewed. Okay. Don't worry. Sauce. But but as we've discussed, when is the mm. art book coming out? Yes, Cause... I need the art book. I'm spending my money on that. When can we get an art book of the whole process of making this show? Because the peace and love the... Yeah, I, I want to see the character it. sheets really bad. Me too! Okay, so I'm making a fan art of Jinx and I was scrambling to find references. Scrambling. Yeah. And I it was not am... enough. I am also doing fan art but I'm doing the fight of Echo and Jinx. <coughs> and I'm about to go through the plunge of frame by frame looking at that bridge. Yeah, well, that's, again, since this that footage was lost, that is the best scene in the show, so. Yes. To everybody who's like, what was lost in that? footage that we tried to record it was me talking about it was literally me ranting about how that's the best yeah that's the best that's, scene in the whole show that was it that was pretty much the whole beginning of this or the first round it's fine this is funnier and better but <laughs> I, it's I, all I, just hatred against jay's <laughs> jay slander that'll jay be the slander. title of the video yeah can we include the can the thumbnail be the one that just says Please stop. I'm please stop beatboxing. Yeah, I'll put that in the <laughs> thumbnail. Thank I'll you. put that in the thumbnail. Thank you. Um overall, the show's so good. Watch it if you haven't. Even if we've spoiled stuff for you, it's still worth the watch. Just for the just for the art alone. 
it's well, beautiful. the show is also just a really excellent. Like it, it hands down it <gasps> past the past the homo. Wait, um, wait, 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 wait. What, I what, have what? to talk about how I hate that Imagine Dragons is canonically in the Arcane universe. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. have to talk okay. about that. Okay, so I when the like Imagine Dragons music video for Enemy came out, uh, mm-hmm. me, I I was like, it's fine. It's an Imagine Dragons song. It sounds like every Imagine Dragons song ever. Yeah. It's cheesy, it's whatever. It's also very catchy. It's gonna get stuck in your head forever. But it's an earworm. I, wa- I watched the music video because I was like so hyped for the show. It's before the show came out. And they're in the music video animated. And I was thinking to myself, <laughs> I-, I wasn't super mad because I was like, you know what? They that makes it's, sense. It's their music video. Totally makes sense. I'm not I can't hate on this. And it's also like really good promotion because it's in the style of the show, and exactly. so then you think about it. But then, when the show actually <laughs> came out, and we had to see them in some of the scenes as their canonical <laughs> selves in the show, I was like, "Riot, please!" This gives please. the same energy as when uh, Shang Chi had Lil Nas X. So then it was like. Lil Nas X is canonically in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And he survived the blip. Yeah, that's her. But this is worse. I think that I think that's less awful because Lil Nas isn't like It's well, just yeah. Maybe this is my personal humble opinion, but that makes sense in live action, right? Mm. Cameos <clears throat> make sense in live action, but when you Go out of your way <laughs> to animate Imagine Dragons, some of the most boring looking dudes I've ever seen. They had to make them look interesting, but which, by the way, <laughs> they don't look interesting. <laughs> While yeah. Enemy is playing in the background <laughs> with peace and love, it's horrific. I'm glad I. Okay, when I was watching it, I was like, oh, okay, cool. They're doing like, it's, I kind of figured as much because it was Imagine Dragons. And I was like, as their intro. So I was like, I'm waiting. I've been waiting for the, uh, the music video moment. Yeah. Right. Cause like, I was like, when is the music video moment going to happen? And then it started happening. I was like, to be expected, um, to have your, cause it was like a official song and it just made a lot of sense that they would have that moment, but when they showed up as characters, I was like, (laughs) (laughs) You know, the word... It brings into the context, so, like, so, in this universe, they're hypothetically, like, they're underground, so they're undercity musicians. yeah, right, they're undercity musicians, but in the real world, this is why it's so chuggy, and that's the only word I can find for it, it's, like, so tacky, is Mm -hmm. they're undercity musicians in the show when canonically they are one of like the biggest i love that you call the our world canon (laughs) like the imagine dragons canon i hate the imagine dragons canon i hate it like in real life they are a rich band who's like Mm -hmm. so popular yeah it just really funny to think about it's the worst. They if they wanted to go that route, they should have found an underground like band that isn't well known yeah, and right. featured them in the show, right. and that would have been a lot more interesting. I think it. Yeah, I but think most it of it promo. is probably. I think most of it is probably uh, on uh, ima- what the Imagine Dragons team wanted, rather than specifically what the animation team wanted. I don't I know, think, dude. I think that maybe. I think the, it might have been that rather than. I, I don't know. I I can imagine. Haha, <laughs> imagine dragons. I can imagine. <laughs> I can imagine dragons. No, no, no. I can imagine that the team, the animator team was like, wouldn't it be funny if we animated them into the show? And then they did it. It kind of gives off it kind of gives off vibes that like that was like what they would that like a stipulation though. Like a That's what I think. Of too. having the song. Well, in. it was like 
they have to be a part of the it has to be a part of the it has music to be video the, yeah like it had to, it must have been like a logistics promotional thing but it was that so kind of comes down to it they've worked with riot in the past and these stipulations it's, have never been brought up i feel like it was a creative decision i oh. think it, i really do think some idiot and on the animation team or the writers team was like wouldn't it be funny if we put them in the show and now they are canonically a part of the league of legends universe and that will haunt me the, for the rest of my life i will Imagine never if recover one of them became a champion oh n- <sighs> The whole band becomes a champion <laughs> that you play. Yeah. It's like the the way that they've operated it in the past has worked because they've created characters for these real players, real real people to be. Uh, mm. But now they're just turning the Imagine Dragons band into characters. It's horrific. It's worst case scenario because... A lot to think about. Um... They are the worst. They're like uh, with <laughs> with peace and love. They are the worst. They are not what I would imagine would be good in a show like that. I mean, they're good for promo, and I saw like some of my artist mutuals. And the intro is an earworm. It's an earworm, but I think the mixture is my favorite though, where they had the epic version mixed in with like the the just how the intro is itself. Is better I, than the raw song. I also feel like the integration of in the Echo versus Jinx scene, that song was integrated perfectly and made sense. I think sense. it was because that was the song it was meant for, not just like the music video moment. Right. And it's good. It's the best scene in the show. So I feel like that decision to have just to animate imagine dragons they didn't animate <laughs> i think that's just your only issue with the whole moment they didn't animate the singers for anything else they had to have their music their music video moment with imagine dragons for promo that's what it it, that's why it makes me think yeah i think it that's worked. why it makes me think but also i th- i think the reason why they did that is because the song for the fight was made for the song for the fight not as like an intro song like it's a soundtrack but i think yeah, but I think that enemy should have been made that way too. I think that they should as have been only more... the intro, or at least with a little more tact and with a lot less Imagine Dragons animated in the show <laughs> with peace <laughs> and just love. no more, no more Imagine Dragons in- animated. I hate them. I hate. I actually, you know, what's the funniest thing? I used to love mm-hmm. Imagine Dragons. But that, I think, set me over the edge to actually hate them. To truly I've, despise them. I've never really liked the music because it's always just been... See, the thing is, the songs are always used for, like, obscure, uh, scandalous uh, teen drama scenes. Like, oh, I are they? Always <laughs> asso- well, I always associate Imagine Dragons with, like, Riverdale's odd, oh, like, verging no, on sex no. scenes. That's what really? it is. That- yeah, they played, That's like, there's, horrific. like, one scene where the characters are, like, about to do the do. And, like, for some reason, I think Radioactive starts playing. Oh, well, and you're Radioactive's, like, where like, one am of their I? worst songs with Peace of Love. Yeah, it's either radioactive or one of the songs, but it's an Imagine Dragons song that starts playing, and so that's like I... all I've ever associated with. It's like obscure teen dramas. My association with Imagine Dragons is I would go on Pandora. I don't know if anyone remembers that streaming oh. website, <laughs> but I would go on Pandora during school and high school in my freshman year, ninth grade. I would turn on Pandora. The alternative mm. radio station on Pandora, and Imagine Ew. Dragons would always play. Imagine Dragons is not alternative with peace and love. Even then, it wasn't. With, with peace and love, it is not. But I listened to it, and I have nostalgia attached to it. But as time went on, I started associating them with League of Legends because they've made a song for League before. Which song? Uh, Legends. Uh, oh. Yeah, so I've associated... They've worked with League before, but 
enemy has pushed me over the edge into I hate them. I truly <laughs> hate them. They have sold out. They are now in the universe, and I hate them for it. I truly <laughs> do. They're stupid self-insert animated dumb little characters. I want to poke their eyes out with more needles. More punchable than Jace. More, far more. People are mad about Jace. How about you get mad <laughs> at the fact that Imagine Dragons is in the show? You idiots. You don't even know anything. <laughs> I you don't know anything. It's such a forgettable moment. I will never forget it. <laughs> I will never forget it. And then, you know what's even more upsetting? Is it, t- uh, it literally cheapens the show because my new editor slash writer for Summoning Boo, uh, I wanted him to watch the show. And so I was like, here, watch the show. Watch Arcane. It's super good. And he's like, okay, but he- I'm starting the show and I hate the Imagine Dragons song in the beginning. I hate anime. And I'm like, okay, fine. <laughs> but wait till you see them animated. And he's like, I'm not watching this show. I'm like, please. <laughs> please watch the show. It's not that important. That's your own fight with your editor. <laughs> and that's it's... not, that's all on you. You had to mention that they were animated. Because it's, he, it was, he it was triggering that for me. He, he could have stumbled that on himself. Well, and then well, he would actually what? still be watching the show. I think he will watch the show because it's it's relevant. I hope. I really hope he does because it's so good. And I want to take really inspiration good. from it for future comics and stuff. So he needs to watch it for context so of what it's, you want uh, to do. Exactly. For homework, he needs to watch it anyway. But it is... Horrific. Our, okay. Yeah. He wants me to watch Stupid Evangelion, okay? He's been harassing me to watch it. He's like, if I have to watch Arcane, you have to watch Neon Genesis. And I'm like, I want to stab you in the eye with a pin needle. Oh, yeah. For context, audience, it's the vibes for Evangelion in this household are toxic. We are, relationship yeah. I, I, I have not watched it, but everything that you have told me and that he's told me is that it sucks and i listen it's because it's because i think I, I don't know this is my own personal opinion maybe it, i'm wrong but anyone who defends the show after watching end of evangelion have questionable morals and anyone who Tea. just defends the show um without watching end of evangelion i feel are in a different camp i feel that they're just they don't know any better <laughs> right I have not watched it. it. The show doesn't build it up as mm, <laughs> as problematic you, as what happens with End of Evangelion. I want to open this little can of worms I don't now. want to start a fight on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Bingo. Tell us your opinions about Evangelion Neon Genesis. Go ahead. The problem is I have so many complicated feelings about the show of, of End of Evangelion and up, Evangelion itself. Sum it up in three sentences. Go. My feelings are that it had amazing it had an amazing setup, it has amazing animation, and it has a really cool plot to begin with. But somehow manages to just create the hospital scene of Ev- end of Evangelion. Yeah, I, I already know what I'm the hospital scene. Say. Yeah. Anyone who watches that and thinks, oh, this show's still good. Anyone who watches ass. that and says Shinji is a good character needs <laughs> therapy. Um Anyone who yeah. kins Shinji needs therapy. Me, I don't know. Needs therapy or a boot to the head. We'll see. Jail time. Jail time. <laughs> <laughs> With peace and love, of course. <laughs> but, like, the Avas are cool. The Avas look sick. Everything looks sick. Nerve is a cool concept. All of it's really cool. And then the hospital scene happens, and you're like, what was that? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, and there's James... a lot of vagina there's a lot of vagina imagery i'm gonna keep saying it's not a bad word i can say that word as much as i want say it okay well yeah there is and nobody warned me going into the first like i think nobody says it everybody's in denial (laughs) like anyone who watches end of end of evangelion and comes out of it like that was an amazing show is in denial 
I don't want to watch that with peace and love. Like at, at first, I was like, "No, <laughs> not you too. You and my editor are a pain in my ass, dude. I don't want to watch it. I don't want to have to sink time into that when I can watch Cowboy Bebop instead. Thanks. Oh my god, I want to watch Cowboy Bebop. We're watching it. Like I think we've gotten eight episodes in or something. I, I've already watched it, but I just want to watch it again. I've never watched it. So far, it's oh. really good. The The soundtrack is absolutely insane. That intro, yeah. And the animation's in gorgeous. It, in it, in it, in it. Yeah, so good. So good. But yeah, I... I hate that I love the concepts and all of the structure of the show and then have to put up with the hospital scene. Well, I this is why I don't want to watch it. I don't even want to have to experience the betrayal of like <laughs> there's so much betrayal. Well, isn't the first version of Neon Genesis or whatever? I don't know how it works. Isn't the first version the ending is like they all clap? Yeah, they that's say, the Good congratulations job. one. Yeah, or congratulations. He's, he's like, I'll get into the mech finally, and they're like, congratulations. And then there's a scene. Congratulations. A scene. I've been exposed to some of the worst scenes, so I don't know what it's like to like romanticize these scenes. I've seen a scene yeah. where they get into an elevator and they stand in an elevator forever the elevator scene. <laughs> so I'm funny. sorry with peace and love you cannot convince me that the show is good you can't the show I've seen the worst of it I've I've seen enough yeah I know. you've gotten the worst you've gotten the worst elements of the show I, mean, I, I haven't even seen a... the hospital scene I don't want to it's you... so traumatizing I was it was 1 a.m. picture this <laughs> 1 oh, a.m. No, he's painting us a picture <laughs> I was, I just finished, before then, I just finished the final episode of Neon Genesis, and I feel fine. I'm like, okay, maybe, maybe it was not as bad. I was like, I gave it the benefit of the doubt with a lot of the ways they dealt with women in the show, because I was like, it's 90s anime. It's to be expected at this point, when it comes to 90s anime. Shit happens. Not a lot of women get treated well in just a lot of anime in general. media, yeah. Yeah. So I was like, whatever. Maybe those elements I can put to the side a little. Shinji's a terrible fucking annoying person, but whatever. I, I, trauma. And then I opened end of Evangelion because I was like, yeah, I gotta finish it all. And, and it doesn't feel like I finished the show. And there's a, there's a whole ass movie right here. I guess I gotta watch that. And, I, and, and then it opens and then the hospital scene happens. And I'm like, what happened to the original plot of the movie <laughs> <laughs> i literally i dead ass 1 a.m i go googling like is anyone else talking about this because i need to talk about this to somebody like why is nobody else bringing up the fact that that just happened in the movie why are Did we it, not was anyone huh? talking about it i saw people being like what the fuck was that yeah. And then other people being like, well, you need to be in the mind of Shinji. And I'm like, I don't want to be in the mind of Shinji in that moment. I really don't. Yeah, it's sounds horrific. I personally don't. And I'm not going to explain it here. And no. I don't want to explain it on the pod because ugh. if it's you know, a, you know. It's an R word situation is what it it's is. A, it's a lot. Well, not well. It's a borderline. No, yeah. it's not. It's disgusting. It's a no, no, no. Like I mean, like the, the the word associated with the situation that happened. Right. In the actual, uh, it's an it's N-word situation. Mm-hmm. Something. I don't know. I don't know what the right. It's. It's like. Es a, oh, it's essay. It's essay. Yeah. It's essay. That's the word I'm looking for. It's essay. Because yeah, I was I like, he didn't do anything to her. It was what happened. Well, he. He might as well have. He might, yeah. At that point, just <laughs> I, I don't live yourself. <laughs> yeah, no. just With stop peace existing. and love, I don't live Honestly, yourself. Honestly, when I was like, when Shinji was like, "It's useless. I shouldn't do anything." I was like, "Yeah, fucking sit in a corner, piece of shit." <laughs> you nasty little shit. <laughs> yeah. He was like, he was like crying in a corner, and I was like, "Yeah, you think about what you did." <laughs> You have to live with that for the rest of your life. It's like, 
I really don't want to see you win. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to watch that yeah. with peace and love. I want to have a watch party. I'm willing. I am willing to watch it with other people because then I can like get drunk and watch it or something. I want to be there for you watching it because you know I what? had we to go could through watch it, so it you have to. while you're visiting. Yes. Oh, true. Because then write I that down, write, that down. write that down. Write that down. Write that down. I don't have anything. Write we that could down have on. a watch party when uh, I. Uh, you yeah. We don't. Let's not. Let's not even get the original context of the show. Let's just watch the movie. The movie, yeah. I'll give right. you like a brief. I'll give you like a synopsis, <laughs> and then we're gonna get right into it. <laughs> okay, great. Love that. Let's do that. Although, you know who's gonna be very upset about that? My yeah, editor. your editor. <laughs> he's gonna be. He's not gonna be. But you. He's like, you didn't get her emotionally attached to the show. <laughs> he's literally and destroy gonna be like, her hopes and dreams. He's gonna be like, you need to experience the heartbreak that I experience. You need to experience. And I'm like, the no, you need to thing. just go through it with me, cause I went through it. Yeah, I think that's a better idea, cause I don't want to have to I, commit myself I, uh, to so much time when I know it's terrible. Yeah, my irritation, a lot of what I've come th- like gone through, it's like a fucking emotional fucking stage over here. I've had to go through different emotional stages with this fucking show, but. <laughs> How I feel about the show is that I really loved a lot of the concepts of the show, but End of Evangelion is a nightmare, and it taint it just taints the whole experience. You're just trying to do damage control right now. You've already said all these things. You're doing damage control, so I know. none of the well, I'm, Evangelion I'm fans kill again. you. I'm getting through it again, because I'm oh still my. irritated. <laughs> I'm still irritated. Listen, if you like it, Something's wrong with you, and I will judge you with peace and love. I've never watched it. I don't care. What scenes I have seen have told me enough. Yeah. If you've got an Asuka figurine... What is wrong I'm with you? I'm sorry. Yikes. What is wrong with yeah. you? <laughs> all the people who are like... The yikes. ...kin all the characters in the show with peace and love, what is wrong with you? You need to see a therapist. Oh, if they you probably kin do. any character... Well, yeah, I was gonna say, because it's all just trauma. Yeah dumping onto Evangelion. If you kin literally any of the characters, you have mommy issues and you need to go get checked. <laughs> oh man. We just angered a whole fan base. We've we've poked the hornet's we've poked nest. The bear. Yeah. <laughs> we've poked a hornet's nest and they'll come we really swarming. Have. You know what? It's I regret nothing. Fine by me. Same. Y'all I deserve think, it. Yeah. Y'all deserve it. Like, come on. There's better content out in the world. If you Shinji, I'm sorry. That's a red flag. <laughs> My toxic I think trait is that I can <laughs> Shinji. <laughs> that's not a toxic trait. That's a jail sentence. <laughs> oh, no. Right to jail. Right away. Jail. jail how did time. we even start getting on this conversation? Oh, yeah. I was talking about Your how editor. I want him to watch Arcane. Yeah. Yeah. But he doesn't want to watch Arcane until I watch that stupid show. But there's no correlation. Like, Arcane's a genuinely good show, and that <laughs> sounds like a traumatizing experience. And he's just like, you should need to be traumatized. Like, I have been. And you I need to go, with, go through what I went through. Meanwhile, I get to watch a beautiful show that is great. I feel like there's not a fair trade there. Something's yeah. wrong. Something's not... <laughs> so- something's not clicking <laughs> but no god forbid i i give him something where Your imagine dragons like... i'm gonna throw hands with him my favorite is that he's like he's like i will not watch this because imagine dragons is in this but you need to be traumatized <laughs> yeah exactly i'm gonna tell him that i'm too. not gonna go through the triggering experience of watching imagine dragons on my screen but you <laughs> well you know what <laughs> To be fair, I think it really does hurt his soul. I think it does send him into a spiral. He, like, he wants to make you spiral. It's a parallel to SA. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, I think in this case, it is no, so he wants bad. You, the thing is, he wants you to be emotionally... He wants to ruin you emotionally. I know, He's going for I know your he emotions, does. He wants to rise you up so that you fall. Listen, just like he did. He's great. I'm not hating on him. Also, he'll never watch this. Fucker. <laughs> I I resent him for that, but 
I'll tell him that we talked about him, and he'll have to. And watch then he'll episode. watch it, <laughs> and then he'll be like, "What the hell? what the hell? You guys are what rude were you to talking me." Talking about yeah. Anyway, what else Do is there to say? Talk about the second. What was the uh, second? Uh, the TikToker. <gasps> yeah, now let's that we're brief off the arcane. <sighs> let's briefly talk about that. Um, we've been going for fifty-four minutes, so we can. Oh, we got time. That. We got time. So I, I'd assume. Okay, I, let's I, let's do it. I did put the screenshot of just his account. I don't know how to me. open that. Kai's opening it for me. Thank you. Good shit. Anyone who's been on TikTok would know about this guy. Okay, yeah. So do you want to explain what this guy does? Well, so the basis of the content of like what he got popular for was that he had an ass. I'm not right. kidding. He's got a dumpy. Like he got a dumpy. Like he's got a That's big his ass. Whole brand. And he yeah. was Yeah, that was his whole brand. He had a big ass and he knew how to show it. So his whole brand was that he had a big ass. And as soon as he had to branch off of his big ass, a bit of misogyny started to <laughs> show up. Just well, a little twinge of misogyny in his branding started to appear. It started he... it became noticeable when it was like almost every other upload was how much he hated astrology women. Right. I didn't get that content, I don't think. I got the dumpy content. Well, I, I got the dumpy content, and then it, it would continue to give me his content because I would be like, haha, he's got an ass, and I'm right. gay. Right. Um, so I'd be like, yeah, ass. Yeah. I'm not going to say no to that. And then it would c continue. And then his other content would start coming up and it would be like his workout videos. And I'd be like, I'm still gay. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then it would be like, a he'd be like uh, going to a girl's room and then there would be like crystals and he'd be like, I got to go. And I'm like, okay, I guess you don't like astrology women. That's fine. Whatever. Who cares? And then it would continue. And then I was like, this isn't just the same TikTok coming up, but it's the exact same premise of him being, like, annoyed by a girl asking what month he's born in. Or, Bruh. like, a, a girl being, like, what sign are you? And then he'd just leave. Like, over and over again. And I'm like, dude. You know who's smart? Your wanna... whole personality is going to the gym. I want to shout out Hassan Piker. Because in the mm. wise words of Hassan, he is living on the philosophy that you do not dunk on people who like astrology because that's like most women and unless you want to date yeah. people you need to learn your fucking sign and you need to know what it means otherwise good luck dating people and yeah, I, I stand say, by that most i was gonna say like 99 percent of women know their sign and want to know yours and they if gotta. you can't say your sign the first date, you're done. You're done. Because you're it's, done a, it's a red boy. flag. Because also, dudes who think they're better than ladies for liking astrology are a red flag with peace and love. And I am I'd saying I'd also that... just like to say that any guy who's, subscri who's like, I can't handle a woman who loves astrology or is like deep into astrology, most likely subscribes to the like sigma alpha beta mindset exactly. and that is just astrology for men stop acting like you're any they're better they're like gym rats who think that they're yeah. better than other people for which this guy is in a facts and logic which exactly also this guy has a history of complaining about how women don't want to date him which is what we were yeah. gonna get to so it's all connected like it's very clear that he has that problem where he's he thinks he's better than other people because of the way he does things. And again, in the wise words of Hassan Piker, you need to learn that shit so you can actually date other people. Because that, it's... unfortunately, is important to people. Even uh, just for yeah. fun. Also, like a fun can thing. I just say, how hard is it to just say, I'm a Libra? Or like, <laughs> I'm a Scorpio? Or I'm an Aries? Like, how hard is it to say your sign? Like, it's, it's not, not that hard. It's literally, it's really and it not. doesn't affect you, and it's not that big of a deal. Plus, like, you can literally segue into, like, 
oh hey i'm a capricorn i don't know too much about it can you tell me more about that's it? that's what hassan says he's like you just you say it and you ask the girl to tell you more that's a smart yeah, way like, to do I'm it here i think i'm a cancer i don't really know do you want to tell me what that is exactly and you know what they're gonna tell you all about it. you, you are gonna, gonna go be sitting crazy. there doing your birth charts together and i just want to say I'm not someone who believes in it, but I do think it's fun. And I'm a Leo, so obviously. There you go. It's not a big deal to talk about. Exactly. It's really not that. It's really not that hard. Uh, it's like not it's deep. more of a fight. It's more of a fight to be like. Ew. Ew, but, ew you're stupid for believing in that. Like, chill. Oh, you're out. an astrology girl. Yeah. Well, your whole whole personality was that you have an ass. Like oh, the rest true. of the world. All your content <laughs> was that you were literally baiting people into sexualizing Looking at your you. A donk a donk. Which is fine, but don't turn around and be like, women dumb because they like astrology. He also made a TikTok that was like resisting the resisting the masculine urge to wear tights at the gym and then tell every girl to stop looking at him. I s that's mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> As if no. women, yeah, like, as if women don't get sexualized and they're all just, like, making it up. And also, yeah. And, like, and women can wear tights at the gym and also, fun fact, not get sexualized. Also, like, it's not the same dynamic. Wear... Even if yeah. women were doing the same thing, which, guess what, they probably aren't. It isn't the same power dynamic because of the social structure that's that exists, like, at the That's gym, not how where it works. It's pro, where it's like predominantly male. It's very usually. patriarchal at yeah. at gyms. Like when I it mean, comes that's... to gyms, there's a reason why they make like there. That's why like I've seen out here, there's been gyms that are women. Like only women can go to that gym. Yeah, because it because protects, they it's need to protect a, them. yeah they need a space where they feel more comfortable because men in a gym setting there's like a lot more men in a gym setting. And as soon as there's a woman in this setting, they go fucking monkey brain, and they're like, "Woman, woman!" It's wild to me ooh, that, ooh, that this guy look. has six point five million followers. He only got it because of that ass. And with peace and love, he's not like I don't know. He look he be looking like oh, what's his? He only like he only has that because. He only has that following because he's got an ass and he likes anime. You know, the guy that we just clowned on recently, the artist guy. Who? Cool. Who do we clown on? He makes bad art. He made the cartoon, Phantom. the Danny Phantom artist. Oh, oh, Butch Hartman. He, Butch Hartman. He looks like he was drawn by Butch Hartman. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna so... say it. I, I don't like, care I'm that gonna, you broke your elbow. I don't care that you broke your elbow, and I don't care that you're being called out for being a misogynist little bitch. Like you... I just think, yeah, I I think the the first one. My thing is, first round, whatever. If you don't like astrology that much, <laughs> yeah. fine. Get your feelings out. Get your little TikTok out. You're get it allowed. Out of your you're allowed to not like it. Yeah, and if it's one TikTok, it's not the end of the world. Like no. we have all made TikToks, like or like off posts about shit we don't like. I, just I do spent, it all the like, time. Thirty minutes talking about Evangelion for no yeah. reason. So that's fine. It's just like literally every other post this dude has been making is how like astrology women freak him out, or ast astrology women are apparently a red flag to him. And well, and then turning around. If a around... woman has crystals in his in their house, it's a they got he's got to go. He's fucking afraid of crystals. It's so stupid. <laughs> he's just. And then obviously the like yeah the the TikTok that really sparked the debate, which was like oh resisting the ma masculine urge to wear tights at the gym. Well, and also him complaining about how no women want to date him. Yeah. There was a TikTok specifically where. It's a little hard to tell whether or not it's like misogyny because he's like it could be interpreted that he's making fun of, making fun of himself because he's saying no one wants to date him. But hot mm -hmm. take. When you look at all of his other content, it's very clear that he has a pattern of behavior that he he's unlikable. 
Like he's yeah. just an unlikable dude. And I think that's what it boils down to. He's unlikable. He's no fun. He says some messed up shit. And he's worries, a gym rat. He worries way too much about what women like and don't like that he can't even figure out his own identity because he's too busy worrying about whether or not people like him. Like yeah. you made your content. And all you're doing your gym the gym stuff, like working out and shit, you're just appealing to the male gaze. <laughs> I mean, and the the bud videos, I think he was appealing to a more uh, less open male gaze, gaze. I would say. Like, it's yeah. open for interpretation. Yeah. Um, but everything else just tells me he's just kind of an asshole. Like, kind it's of a kinda bitch. He's kind of got douche energy, yeah. He's got bitch energy, and he he just... Who called him out? Do you remember their name? Uh, I've he's, seen many people call him out, but Modern Warrior has been a yes. common... He's been on a path against this dude for a while. Yeah. And that's the TikTok I saw that called him out. I've and... seen three from Modern Warrior alone. I'm glad he's being called out, because I think he's been unchecked yeah, for a while. I think while. it's the time. Yeah. Because I've seen, like, multiple videos of him being like astrology women and i'm like dude get over it just don't fucking go for a girl who has their like don't go for a girl that has her sign in the bio like it's also, not that difficult if you're that pressed again take it from the womanizer himself hassan piker yeah homie he's been with a lot of people and he knows yeah. He knows what women like, and he knows that it's better to just encourage people on what they like than judge them for what they like, even if you may not agree with it. It's not hurting anyone. That's the point. Is like it's really not hurting anyone. And I know there's like this argument that people can get really intense about signs. Like some women will like turn you down if they don't like your sign. I'm like Okay, so you wouldn't want to be with that person anyway. If anything, that's a sign to you that you shouldn't date. Yeah, them. I was gonna it's, say it's like a positive thing. It's a good like identifier. If the yeah, if they're gonna turn you down for the sign, don't just be like, yeah, all right, that's fine. It's just a, probably a good thing we didn't go further than. It's got some bitter energy. It's got some woe is me, I can't get a partner energy, and I just I don't fuck with it. I don't fuck mm -hmm. with it. That's all I can really say about He's this also guy. made like 50,000 simp videos about Ryan Reynolds that make me go, are you sure you're straight? I don't know, but that's a very straight man thing to do. That's like a, the meme. Yeah, that's but like, like hell he is of the going meme. hard. I'm like, no, but boy, that's, it's... Yeah, that's like a straight man thing to do. Yeah, it's the safe straight man male attraction. I don't, yeah, I don't know what it is, like. I feel like Ryan Reynolds appeals to more Ryan Reynolds men is than like what else? I think it's I think the whole thing about Ryan Reynolds is that Ryan Reynolds is basically like the get out of being gay free card. Like because yeah, everyone has unanimously if agreed everyone, if you're yeah attracted if to him, you're not actually gay. Yeah, if every straight guy believes that Ryan Reynolds is the straight answer, then it's fine. If the majority vote is that Ryan Reynolds is your gay pick, then you're fine. Because then you're not thinking about it and you don't have your own personalized choice, which means that you don't have, like, it's like a herd mentality with straight dudes. Ooh, like, I if like you this are take. All, if you all think the same, then it's safe. It's safe answer. You're you don't still have straight. To, yeah, you, you just shoot it out. You're like, Ryan Reynolds, because we all believe that it's Ryan Reynolds, right? Which... We all think Ryan Reynolds is attractive fair then we don't have to make our own personalized ones which makes us think that we all have our own attractions which means that we all might be a little fruity yeah which arguably is probably the truth like it's a little fruity that you're that's your pick with peace and love yeah like kind of fruity my life all of us, well, all of us kind of fruity <laughs> we're all kind of fruity like we're and that's okay fruity. I'm but just... it's not okay for hyper straight men that pick Ryan no. Reynolds. Well, I think it's like hyper masculine men who don't want to admit that they may have a window where they would actually date someone or be with someone. I have a hot take. Who's a man? Yeah, go for it. He's not that attractive. No, he's not. I he doesn't <laughs> because he doesn't appeal to us. He's not. It's no. not. 
He's I just a white he's, dude. Like, he's a try like he's he stands up on his own. Like I don't know. He's whatever. like a standard attractive. He's white like guy. a five. Yeah. I Damn. See him on. A... I mean, but we're also queer people, and we're gonna look at him and be like, eh, whatever. Well, he gives me like stock photo. Yeah, right. That's what I think too. <laughs> I think he's funny. He gives me but... very like save on foods ad. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's like a supermarket here. Okay, gotcha. Like Walmart. I agree ad with you. Yes. For your American version. I agree with you. I agree with you. He gives think... me yeah. He gives me Walmart attractiveness. That's mean. He like he gives me like the the promotional material. He's not like the people of Walmart. Like... He's not interesting. He's got no flavor. He's yeah, he's like a poster yeah. guy. He's not hard he's on the, the eyes, but he's not of attractive people. He's not gonna offend oh, oh, oh. anyone with his looks you know yeah squishy malleable not my first pick white bread very low on my tier list very low yeah but i don't mean to like, like a, judge his looks like but e. he's <laughs> he's very much like he's hotter as deadpool and i can't see his face as deadpool which dude, says a lot he's hotter as mangled deadpool that's mean i st- i mean i stand by that he's hotter is it as mean deadpool or is it true on. Yeah. No, no, no. He's hotter as Deadpool without the mask on, with his mangled face. I vote with mask on. Ma- with mask on is him. great, too. Anyway. I don't know. There's so, many more, there's so many more attractive men to pick, too, like Jason Momoa. Yeah, and I you feel like that's... something a... like that. He's got more flavor. Yeah. But well, he's no, also just they've more all, attractive. They've all unanimously agreed to, like... What's his face? Ryan Reynolds. Reynolds. How'd you forget that? <laughs> that was... I, how many times I gotta tell you? I don't remember names. It takes a while for me to fish out the, of my yeah, mind that's brain. That's like the thing. Like if they all pick the same one and they don't have to make their own unique picks, that means all of them are on the same page of straightness. Yeah. yeah. So they're not technically, they're all not making a technical gay pick. Because it's all the safe, straight. I think oh, it's, too, it's so safe. I think that you're right. I think that that's a spot on take, and we're not talking about it enough. Yeah. Where's the Oscar Isaac sits? <laughs> Now's your time. Who's Thomas. that guy? Come on. Who's that? He's I don't know names. From Star Wars. He- oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, everyone's simping after him on TikTok. Oh, that's yeah, like a go-to right They're now. Coming out. But it's all, Most it's all like, like, can we get like some mind. hate? Like, can we get some, cu- like, just anything? Some <laughs> spice? No. Straight men have Boys. no taste. <laughs> yeah, they don't. Like, well, I mean, they're too I'm busy sorry. being attracted to themselves than they are being attracted Ooh, to their girlfriends. True. So true. Mostly that, gym I... rats. That's the one I'm, that's the people I'm talking about. Because those are the people <laughs> that would be picking Ryan Reynolds first as their Do we just, pick. we're beefing with gym rats, I think. Well, to be honest, they're kind of one of the most annoying species of straight people. <laughs> yeah. Well, all they're like super self-obsessed, and it's like I completely understand the people that are a lot more like just about their their health rather than their physique. Yeah. Like, people that are a lot more in tune with them, the, their health about it are a lot more tolerable than uh the men that like work out really hard and then get mad when a well, girl they're it's... basically just they're just chad uh, they're just like beefed up well, they're incels comp- they're compensating that's all it is yeah. it's compensation for they're just needing therapy yeah they're beefed up <laughs> incels yeah yeah anyone who calls I... themselves a chad on ironically is a beefed up incel that's all it is yeah i'm yeah all i can think is yeah how much pussy do you actually get hmm well, according to that guy, whatever his not face a lot, is, not a lot. So I, I think it's an unfortunate character development of this person of just like from everyone's favorite dumpy to like a misogynist. Well, I, I will say he just hasn't done anything like really horrific, which is why it's kind of like some. It's an just interesting conversation. Um, yeah. But I think I, I can only hope that this whole conversation surrounding him doesn't make him 
fall deeper into that hole of just hating women because it tends to because people are really harsh i'm harsh mm. on him i called him one of what's his face's drawings like yeah and he's kind of a bitch, i just don't but... like the culture surrounding jim bro energy i just don't like the whole culture that he well because it's most it's patriarchal into. And it's like super self absorbed usually. Well yeah, they always get they always cry and they're like, But why isn't woman attracted to me, my physique? And but it's then like maybe it's maybe fucking, just don't it's, f- <laughs> it's funny because women are pretty open with what they want, right? Like they you're like yeah. how about you look at content that women actually consume and look at what the female gaze looks like and maybe you'll learn something but you don't want to learn how to do that yeah. you just want to bitch you just want to look in the mirror and model. yeah and be like well we're all hot so yeah. and fuck each other yeah. that's what i'm saying like leave the <laughs> rest of I'm us saying. alone and go mess be with gay. each other Go Just be, be gay. gay. Be <laughs> who you are. Be who you are. <laughs> For your friend. <laughs> exactly. Honestly. I just, yeah, I think the uh, best outcome out of this is that he just calms down with the whole, like, weird hot takes he has against women. Yeah. Just be better. Be yeah, better. They're unnecessary, bud. They're unnecessary. Do better. You anyway, don't need to make 15 TikToks about how much you don't like astrology women. You can Not if just you want a girlfriend, it. you don't. Yeah, <laughs> especially if you want a girlfriend. Like, what like she has you at all about. want a girlfriend, yeah. Um, if you want any girl to like you, maybe calm down on that. We've been going for an hour and 15, and I think we're going to have to go to dinner. Yeah. So. Food. I need food, too. Thank you all for listening to our chaos. I think this was a good episode. I still... I think it was let, pretty good. Let, it, let me know how you guys feel about Imagine Dragons being put <laughs> this, into Arcane. Um, yes, I care about what the people think, okay? <laughs> so distraught Just over this. Let me know. Thanks for listening. <laughs> it's been you. the Ratcast. See you next time. Ba, 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 da. Oh, you're gonna do it yourself. This is so bad. We have no sound bites. Okay, bye. Bye. Stop. <laughs> okay, stop. <laughs>